Democrats. Yeah, no Democrats. Yeah, no Democrats. <clears throat> but uh, it was very successful, and we had. Uh, I don't know, Judy wants me to say how many candidates we have, but I don't know. I can't find it. I don't know. Um, we, had, we had a full slate for our cavalry, except for 19 and uh, division district 4, district 30. We had a full slate. We had a full, <clears throat> El Paso County had a full slate of candidates, with two exceptions, uh, <clears throat> the DA for district 4 and for 19, was it? And uh, 19, everything else we had, a libertarian on the ballot. And we're pretty proud of that. Uh, our next two meetings are going to be at Tilted Kilt. Uh, <clears throat> our usual venue, uh, Fargo's, has continued to do contact tracing and uh, limiting the attendance and all that. So we're kind of moving away from them. Um, are you doing the birthday party? The... the birthday party, our December meeting is instead of being the third Thursday is going to be the, the 11th, which we consider to be the birthday of the Libertarian Party. Um, there will be cake and it'll be a party. So everybody show up. That's all. Did everybody hear that? There will be cake. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria, I don't know if you can hear, there's no sound. No sound. I can hear you. Now can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Yep, yep. Yes. Okay, sorry about that. Well, we are moving on to um, Jefferson County. Is someone here from Jefferson County? Uh, Steve and I are, I don't think we have anything to report. We um, had a successful trash pickup, but other than that, nothing, nothing to report. Thank you very much, uh, Mike. Mesa County, I guess Mark did not join us this time, Pueblo. Um, not a whole lot to report. We're still having monthly meetings. Our next meeting is uh, the third Tuesday of November. That'd be November 17th at 6.30 at the Senate Bar and Grill, downtown Pueblo. And uh, we're just gonna discuss an election recap. Um, we had uh, three local ballot issues as well as the plethora of state issues. So that's what we're gonna be talking about. Awesome. Thank you very much, Mr. Pickerel. LNC report, Ms. Harlos. I don't have much to add from what I'd already said about the candidates, but I just wanted to remind everyone that this term we do have monthly e-meetings and I do post that on my secretary's page on Facebook if you're interested in attending. We had one last night, um, so it's much easier way to keep track of what's going on um, with the LNC. And just on a related note, because one of our um, goals nationally is uh, voting reform. 
um, I've been getting more and more involved with RCB Colorado. And one thing we'll be, I'll be working on locally is, and I've been working with a town council member in Castle Rock. Now that it passed in Boulder, they'll be electing their mayor by um, RCB in Boulder. We're gonna try to get that implemented um, into Castle Rock. And in furtherance of being able to have core competency as the national secretary, um, I'm in the midst of taking my registered parliamentarian exam and I'm about halfway through it. And it's been giving me a nervous break now. So that's about it. Thank you, Ms. Harlos. Read and approve minutes. Has everyone read the minutes? Were there any changes that needed to be made to the minutes? I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, just from the members of the board, is it better to get the minutes immediately after the meeting or better to get it before the next meeting? Madam Chair. I, like, I like it immediately after. I don't know about the other members. If you would uh, go ahead and, uh, and speak now. Go ahead. Uh, Madam Chairman, Eric Mulder, yes. Vice Chair. Uh, Mike, I absolutely love getting it instantly. They look great and it's really easy to get them read really fast. So well done getting them so quickly. I like that. Thank you, Mr. Mulder. Any I, I, I agree. Mr. Jershman agrees. John Pickerel, I agree. It, uh, it's easier to make sure everything's accurate when it's still fresh in your mind. Thank you, Mr. Pickerel. All right, we'll do it. Thank you, Mr. Spalding. Yes, uh, Steve Gallant also sent a message to, to everyone saying, I prefer instant. So I guess we are all in agreement that we love the instant minute, the instant minutes, that way we have, we have it fresh in our mind to be able to, to review them and, and stuff right away. So it's, it's awesome. Thank you so much Mike, for doing that. Calendar item, secretary bylaws, article two, section eight. Uh, Mr. Spaulding. Uh, we, we have as um, maybe it was Karen alluded to some missed deadlines for the convention. Actually, I think that was Bet Rose. And, um, um, but I don't have a list of any pending deadlines at the moment. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Spalding. Officer reports, Chairman. Well, um, other than what is on my report, I want to re reiterate, sorry, English is my second language, so sometimes I don't know how to pronounce certain words. Reiterate, re reiterate, reiterate that every the Colorado had nearly 60 candidates on the ballot certain counties had uh, more than others but every one who ran everyone who uh, helped run a campaign who helped with fundraising who helped with phone calls with phone banking to call potential um, voters with with calls to donors with with websites, with platform, with design of materials. It, it takes more than one person to be a candidate. I know in my case, I had about 20 volunteers on my campaign. You know, everything from makeup to, to hair had to be perfect. You know, the way that you walk in to give a speech, all of those things are, super important for candidates who are running campaigns to show a certain level of pro professionalism to um we had and we had people recruiting candidates we had candidates that were placeholders we had candidates that were running informational campaigns that that did you know really really a great jobs um tom uh what's his last name, Atkinson, for example, he was running an educational campaign and got 11,000 votes. That's pretty darn good. Sean Short got 40% of the vote. Um, I can't mention all of the candidates because there were so many, 
but it's a really good problem to have having too many candidates to mention. And all of the people that got together to help these candidates out, to help them put together a website or to help them get donations for the ones that were raising money or to help them report. I want to say that all of this is extremely important and it's not about necessarily winning in a campaign, but about getting the message out. Even when we didn't win like the position itself or the election, we still won. The county commissioner that won in my race, in my race, for example, recognized me on Facebook for calling to congratulate him. And he's looking forward to working with the Libertarian Party to implement Libertarian policies in Douglas County. That's huge. That is huge, people. Yes, I know that, you know, and uh, other candidates or, or, or other races, just having the acknowledgement that the Libertarians exist, that we hold enough votes that can make a difference in winning and losing an election, and that the duopoly is now realizing that libertarians will never vote for someone who would rather see our county, our city, our state, our country destroyed than have the other party in, in power. When they start realizing that, no, we are not going to vote for either of the two big parties ever. That that's not what we do. We don't look for, for you know, the lesser of the evils. And when now that they're realizing that, that our spread is actually larger than the winning or losing, they have to take us into consideration. They have to look at our policies. They have to look at our platform. They have to look at our ideals and they have to pay attention to us. That is what we won in Colorado was 60 well, nearly 60 candidates running in office. And they had to look at us and say, wait a second, these people are for real. And I want to congratulate every one of you that ran, every person that, that stepped in to help in a campaign, people who made parties happen and trivia nights happen. And uh, every campaign was different. And there was debates and there were debates that were canceled because the other two parties were too afraid to debate the libertarian candidate. Seriously, we are making waves and we are growing and we're making a difference. And I wanna thank you and congratulate you for being a candidate, for being on a campaign, for running a campaign, for being a campaign manager, a fundraising director, a PR person. I want to congratulate every single one of you Thank you so much as well for doing that and start running for 2022 now. We hope to have a full slate by then. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to everyone. And that's uh, my report, Mr. Jerschman. Yeah, I'd like to just point out that- uh, we Yeah, I'd like to just point out that we had two candidates in the state that got over 30%. Sean, Sean, sorry, Sean, Sean, I don't know what's going on with my voice. John Schur and Michelle Pogue got over 30%, and Adam Shucknack got over 20%. Wow, Adam Shucknack got over 20%. Very good. Way to go, Adam. Make that Way to go, Michelle. Over. And I already had mentioned Sean. Make that three candidates over um, thirty percent. Hanawa got over forty. Hanawa got over forty percent of the vote. That is amazing. Wow. Congratulations to Hannah. Um, Vice Chair. Uh, I would just like to add, dovetailing on what Madam Chairman was talking about with twenty twenty two, we've got. The governor's office coming up then. We've got the U.S. Senate. Michael Bennett's seat is coming up. We've got U.S. Congress, as always, and we've got state house races and a myriad of races at the county level. So 
running for office is a little bit of paperwork and it is a little bit of filing, but it's well worth doing and it's well worth having another libertarian option on the ballot anywhere we can take. So if you would like to volunteer, I'll make it easier for you right now and tell you that I'm already volunteering for 22. So you don't have to run alone and you could be part of a great libertarian slate. That's all I got. Thank you, Mr. Mulder. Mr. Treasurer, let me see if I can find this volume thing. I report. Go ahead. Nothing to add. Thank you, Mr. Treasurer. Um, fundraising is currently vacant and I would like to let everyone know that Miss Betty Rose Ryan has applied for the position if if anybody would like to make a motion question madam chairman who is this uh vice chair speaking vice chair are you making a motion um didn't we say we'd add that at the new business portion no we said at the fundraising portion okay then i move to nominate betty rose ryan as the interim fundraising director is there a second? Second. Ms. Brian, we want to say anything. Ms. Ryan? Yes, sorry. Um, quest the question was? If you would like to say a few words about fundraising and why you'd like to have the position. I served as fundraising director in the 90s and I found it a rewarding position. I also have some ideas of how we managed to restart the pledge program. I know we have a pledge program right now. I'd like to see it increased and I'd like to encourage people to increase their donations. I realized I'm not a pledger yet. So although I've given money to this party, I, I, I will be the first one to sign up after this and uh, I would like to send out fundraising letters and I'll come up with a budget for that if that's okay. I, I look forward to making a change, making sure that we have money to do big things with. Awesome, thank you very much, Ms. Ryan. I am going to roll call because since we are on Unless there's any questions from anyone else before we proceed to a vote. Is there any questions, any comments from anybody? Mr. Spalding, go ahead. Can we just do a vote without objection? We could, but sometimes I people are muted and I don't hear them. Any other questions, comments before we proceed to a vote? All right, Vice Chair? Yes. Treasurer? Yes. Campaigns? Aye. Outreach? Yep. Affiliates? Aye. Legislative, we don't have, we have a vacancy for legislative director. We are currently looking for someone who is willing to do that mammoth task. Um, membership. Yes. Communications. Yes. Secretary. Yes. Without objection, uh, well, well, unanimously, I'll vote too, I since everybody else said I. Um, unanimously, uh, Ms. Betty Rose Ryan is now the interim fundraising director for uh, the party. We will ratify that in a month unless we have other people to apply. Um, 
Let's move on to campaigns. Um, so first and foremost, um, with Ramon Doan's 1% of the vote, one and a half, we got more than that. Um, the Libertarian Party of Colorado has preserved its minor party status for another two years. Yay. As people said, we had uh, approximately 60 candidates statewide. Um, 14 of them were in El Paso County. Um, the candidates in El Paso County did on average about twice as well as candidates in the rest of the state. So again, well done. Um, beyond that, uh, on a more sobering note, um, our percentage of votes is down. Um, and versus 2016, the last time I was personally watching the, the uh, tallies, um, we received a little over maybe half to two thirds the votes that we did in 2016. Um, so we need to work on that a little bit. Um, I will be going through with, uh, hopefully with the support of the campaigns committee in the next month or two, um, trying to put the votes that we received in buckets and see if I can come up with some trends um, that we can use for um, future projection of, of where to focus our efforts on. Um, and with that, um, with 2021 coming up, the spring of 2021 is often um, for many municipalities, municipality election time. So we need to pivot pretty quickly and start looking for candidates to run in the um, local and municipal election. That's it for this month. You can uh, email the person on that committee. Ms. Darcy would like to be on the campaigns committee, uh, Bruce. Great. I'd love to have her. Thank you. Hey, Victoria, Mike Spaulding is raising his hand. Well, Mike, go ahead. Thanks. Uh, we do have a database of all the municipal elections that are coming up, and there's quite a few. Um, we've had several people actually elected in the municipal elections. And so I highly recommend that you focus on that. I think that's a great idea. Thank you, Mike. Any other comments for campaigns? Outreach, Mr. Kevin. Um, you know, just been uh, working on things. Um, throwing some ideas out there and seeing how people feel about them. But, um, you know, the only vacation I took this year was for the national uh, convention. So I got about a, an entire month of uh, no work coming up. So uh, I'll be sending out a lot of emails and following up on a lot of things. So that's it. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Cavan. Affiliate, Steve. Yeah, hello. Uh, just to reiterate what's in my report, the uh, we're still looking for volunteers for Delta County. Uh, so anybody, if anybody comes across anybody from Delta County who's interested in helping out, uh, well, let me know. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Mr. Gallant, uh, we don't have legislative. We are looking for legislative director uh, membership. Mr. Pickrell. Uh, nothing to add to my report other than uh, recently Wesley Pinchot quit the newsletter. Um, so we have not sent that out on the November 6th uh, goal of having that in the mail. Um, Eric Mulder is, is picking up the ball 
and attempting to get that put together. But uh, I only found out about it when I when I sent an email out to Wesley saying, "Hey, uh, what's that's the newsletter?" And I got a, "Oh, by the way, I quit." So uh, we'll do the best we can. Um, I'll, I'd love to help if if you need my help. Let me know. Yes, I will. I will definitely take you up on that. Thank you. Thank you. Communications, Mr. Lalleman. Uh, yeah, I just want to add uh, congratulations on a good uh, election season and keep it up. Thank you, Mr. Lalleman. Secretary. I have nothing to add to my report. Thank you. Uh, Standing Committee reports technology. I have nothing. Database, website, David. Um, nothing to add. Nothing, okay. Welcome committee, uh, Mark's not with us. Campaigns committee, we've already gone through that. Mm. Unfinished business, nothing. Uh, new business, the fundraising part's been done. Uh, fundraising, legislative, the directors need to be appointed and we need to receive. Appoint constitution and bylaws committee and platform committee. Now for the platform committee, if I am correct, um, other than the appointment from Douglas County, we have received two applications for the platform committee. Those applications were Mr. Seebeck and Mr. Harlow's as well as the appointment of Ms. Harlow's for the platform committee. We, pardon? And the appointment of uh, Josh Wallen to the platform committee from um, Denver County. I'm sure there are appointments from the other affiliates too. Maybe I'm not seeing the email, but, but the people who have applied other than the people who have been appointed were only Mr. Harlos and Mr. Seebeck. I believe that the bylaws states that the board appoints six. Is it six? Would you check that, Mike, please? Is it five or six? But they don't have to be. That's what I thought. And yeah, would you read that portion of the? Yeah. The okay. This is on the platform committee. Yeah. This is article. This is bylaws, Article Seven, or excuse me, Article Six, Section One, Subsection A. Um, the bylaws committee and the platform committee. This covers both shall appoint, or excuse me, shall consist each of five at-large members selected by the board and additional members selected by each charter affiliate. Board shall solicit applications for the members, um, setting a date for at least six months prior to the convention, at which point there'll be amendments will be considered. The board shall appoint five at-large members at a board meeting at least one month after final solicitation, but no later than four months prior to the convention. If any subsequent vacancies occur in the initially appointed at large positions, the board may select members to fill the vacancies and the board can select the committee chairs. Each chart affiliate can appoint one member of the committee and that's a different section. Thank you, Mr. Seebeck. So we would have, it says five, not up to five. So um, Is there any volunteers to help fill those positions of the people here? For platform. <laughs> anyone on the board that might want to help fill those positions or anyone that is 
Mr. Mulder, go ahead. You have your hand up. Uh, Madam Chair, um, Arapahoe County sent you their appointment to the platform committee. That's in your email. Okay. Did you send it today? Yes. Eric, was that sent today? Yes. That's why I haven't seen it yet. Let me go look. I'm on the email. I don't see it. Okay. Um, I'll just, who is your appointment, uh, Mr. Mulder? Would you just let us know who it is? Our appointee is Camp Martin. Somebody was curious. Our appointee is Kat Martin, Madam Chair. I can go look here and see. Kat Mark Martin to the platform committee. Uh, since we only have two applicants, I would say that we should allow them both to be on there. Yes, ma'am. Um, this ultimately will be a committee interpretation, but even though it doesn't say up to, is you can't come on come and your people onto the committee. Right. Um, and I know in years past, at least the custom has been, I know there's some years, for instance, that Jeff Ork was the only one on the bylaws because yeah, no one else wanted to be on it. Thank you. Yeah, so that's my interpretation, though ultimately obviously it's your college chair. So I, I would like to recommend to the board to appoint everyone who applied to the platform committee to us. Aye. Is anybody opposed? Or actually, let's go with the roll call just to make sure that I didn't miss anyone. Vice Chair? Aye. Treasurer? Aye. Um, Hello? Fundraising? Aye. Campaigns. Point of information. Yes. That would the 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 two the the two at large members that are that are up for nomination are Michael Seebeck and Wayne Harlow. That's correct. I, I sent you the I sent the board the all the applications. Yes. Yeah. Aye. Outreach. Aye. Membership? Yes. Communications? Aye. Secretary? Yes. Now, we also have to name the chair of the committee um, from the appointed members as well as the, the at large. Um, I don't know if anybody has someone they would like to appoint for Chairman, uh, there were two people who had expressed an interest in being chair of that committee, and they were uh, Mr. Seebeck and Ms. Harlow's. Oh, you know? Bylaws, not. Okay, so Ms. Harlow's has expressed an interest in chairing the platform committee. Anyone else express an interest, or would the board like to appoint her as chair of the platform committee? Any questions, any comments? There are also Kat Martin, Josh Wallen. Um, did you guys appoint somebody for a platform? No, we did not. And he was appointed for bylaws. It's, it's a lot of work to do both. I don't know. Um, Miss Ryan, 
Um, yeah. Martin, uh, indicate any interest in being chairman? Eric, would you answer that? Yeah, Martin is not on the phone call and I do not know if she would accept. So I don't think it would be right to make a call on that either way. Okay. She has not expressed any interest in that. Uh, do we go ahead and take it to a vote? Do we let the committee decide? Board, you have the floor. I, I think like to appoint somebody. Who who was speaking? Oh, this is Betty Rose. Um, how many people are on the board? How many people have we appointed already, or have been appointed? So we just appointed Mr. Seebeck and Mr. Harlow's. Miss Harlow's was appointed by Douglas County. Miss Martin was appointed by Arapahoe County, and Mr. Whalen was appointed. Wallen was appointed by Denver County. Okay. And the only person who has expressed an interest in chairing that committee is Ms. Harlow's. Mr. Griffith, go ahead. And then Mr. Spalding. Um, Madam Chairman, I move that we allow the committee to um, elect their own chairman. Second. If it's allowable, I have no issue with that. And Mr. Spalding, go ahead. I thought the bylaws ask us to appoint the committee chair. Although I agree that letting the committee appoint the committee chair makes more sense. The bylaws say may, not shall. Okay, the bylaws do allow for the committee to appoint the committee chair. This is John Pickerel. Go ahead. Um, so that the uh, the committee can start organizing itself, my recommendation would be to make uh, Karen and Harlow the interim uh, chairman until the committee can convene and elect their own chairman. That way she can. Okay. Was that a second, Mr. Mulder? Yes. Is there anyone opposed to that? Should I go by roll call? Mr. Spalding, your hand is still up. Did you have something else to say? Uh, my error. We don't need to do roll call, I think. So there are no, oppo no opposed to uh, appointing Ms. Harlow's as interim committee chair with the uh, with the committee going to uh, elect their own. Is that correct? Yes. So Ms. Harlow's is the interim committee chair on the platform committee. Um, congratulations, Ms. Harlow's. And uh, thank you for your service. Thank you guys for uh, volunteering. And thank you to everyone who has been appointed by each of their affiliates. Now for, the Constitution and Bylaws Committee, I have sent over nine applications and it is going to be um, hard to decide from the nine applications that I sent over to the committee. If you guys would, I don't know if we wanna present them what what the easiest way to, to say who the last time that we did it we did it in writing we sent an email to mr spalding if the board would like to do that that might work with the with that or should we do i don't know if there's a way to do it on zoom where we can just uh do like a place to write down who all of your vote by email says mike spalding would be a good idea if uh, you guys wouldn't mind voting by email and sending your five, um, the five names of who you would like to be appointed by the board up to five names each. 
um, to Mike Spaulding, it would be amazing. Yes, Mr. Griffith. Um, Madam Chair, in your spreadsheet, there are nine lines with eight names. The last one I sent later, it was uh, Alan Heyman. Perfect. Thank you. Because it didn't go through on the on the nine lines. So Alan Heyman and also Miss Darcy has asked to be considered for the for the position. If you'd so wish to put her on there, you can put her on there. Madam Chairman. Yes, Mr. Mulder. I can't read numbers documents, so I have no idea who applied. Could you give us the nine Nick candidates? Yes, let me uh, go right into the job form and read them to you. Wait, there have been 10 submissions. Hang on. I thought there were nine. Okay. Uh, oh, there's one line. Um, right. Alan Heyman, Eric Mulder, Michael Seebeck, Michelle Pogue, Joe Johnson, Wayne Harlows, Karen Ann Harlows, Betty Rose Ryan, Scott Helker. Wait, I got one from Margot Anthony as well. Margot Herzl. Why is this one not popping up? And Margot Herzl. Also, uh, Miss Judy Darcy has asked to be included in the list. And you just need an email sent to uh, the secretary with our five pick. And to the secretary with your choices. And I'm asking you to send it to him and not to me so that we keep it all very impartial. That way I don't need to know who voted for whom. Mr. Secretary. Yeah, yes, sir. I just sent my ballot to you. Mr. Secretary. Yes. Um, what's the email? I'm sorry. Uh, secretary at lpcolorado.org. OK. Sending five names, correct? Yes, sending five names. Okay, thank you. If it comes to a place where we have a tie of, of two people that didn't make 50%, then we'll look at those names. But I don't know that that will happen or not, just the top five names. You sent a CSV file. Yeah. But I can't find. Uh, okay, I just the read the names. Uh, yeah, that, that doesn't work. Okay. okay. Um, mm -hmm. Alan Heyman, Eric Mulder, Michael Seebeck, Michelle Pogue, Joe Johnson, Wayne Harlows, Karen Ann Harlows, Betty Rose Ryan, Scott Helker. Margo Herzl, Judy Darcy. Hey, Mike, this is John Picker. I'll just send you mine. Let me see if I can copy and paste. Okay, I've only received one. Oh, there's another one. I got one from Michelle. No, I got one from Eric and one from um, John. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. I'm sending you an email, uh, John. Okay, th those are the names. Oh. I just sent you a note with, with just the names. Um, yeah, that's all I need. Well, no, the one I sent you was just the all of the names of everyone who's applied. Okay. And just for reference, some people are sending less than five. That's okay as well, I believe. Gee, shouldn't this be approval voting? We approve of these people. No, we don't approve of anybody. <laughs> we could do approval voting and then we would end up with eight. We have up to five. And yeah, we would end up being here until forever. Since it does not say it has to be approval voting. Um, or if you guys want to put more than five and when you want to rank them, go ahead. Nice <laughs> <laughs> uh, voting. Hey, I have to tally these. It doesn't say how, so we're not gonna. I, I really, I really would like to get home before midnight. And it's snowing, so. Nevada has not tabulated their choices for the Constitution and Bylaws Committee yet. Nevada has not tabulated their choices. And Wisconsin, that's a thousand. Well, I vote for NOTA. Let's just not have constitution and bylaws at all. <laughs> if it's just the platform, I'm okay with the platform. Sorry, that's. I did use the Sharpie. <laughs> I use the Sharpie. That's why I didn't get any votes. I knew I voted for me, but I've used this Sharpie. So that's why I got zero votes in Douglas County. Damn. I put my ballot in my wife's envelope. So that's one of my new uh, I worked as an election judge. That happens a lot. I did not do that, by the way. I thought it was funny. I voted for NOTA, so, um, so that's that's that. NOTA was only on the ballot in one state, and I don't remember which one it was. Nevada. And Nevada. got quite a few votes. Well, we should add NOTA to the, you know what, next time I'm running, I am putting the, my name on the ballot as NOTA. Because you can put whatever name you want on the ballot. Huh? It might have been done, but I might still win. <laughs> I, I might win <laughs> with NOTA. Uh, All right, do we have any other votes coming in? John Gershman is still typing his up. Okay. Can you confirm if you received an email from Outreach? Yes. All right, thank you. You've been telling. Where are you missing, Mike? Say what? Who are you missing? Uh, 
No, no, no. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight voters so far. I, I can read them off in just a minute. I gotta finish this one. I did send mine in case there's a tie. But don't count mine unless there is a tie. I think it might be too late for that. That's OK. All right. I don't have John's yet. He just sent it. OK. I'll give it a moment. Did All you right. get Betty Roy? Communications. Um, Victoria, I have outreach, affiliates, campaigns, uh, bet uh, promoters, I guess that's fundraising, mm -hmm. and membership. Secretary has to. And uh, uh, Eric. Secretary. And I, yeah, vote. my vote's been in. So we just just got. Um, Treasurer? Yeah, so I don't think we're missing anybody. Let me tally this and we'll have it. That's a cool calculator. The official tallying theme. It's faster though. Yeah, I was gonna say in light of today's news. You <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, so bad. This popular game show host passing caused great mourning across the nation. <laughs> At a time when the nation wanted some other news than what it's been seeing. Okay, we have totals. Let's see who's the highest here. Oh, surprising. All right. Um, do you guys want to know the vote totals or you just want to know um, the highest in order? Just the highest in order. Okay. Eric, and we're going for five people. So Eric Mulder, uh, Joe Johnson, Bet Rose Ryan. Alan Heyman. Okay, and then we have a four way tie for the fifth guy, uh, five way tie for the fifth guy. So we have five okay, people. So who are the five people that are. Okay, the five people who got the same amount of votes. That got the same amount of votes, okay. Are Mike Sebick, Wayne Harlos, Karen Ann Harlos, Scott Helker, and Michelle Pogue. Would everyone send an email with their top choice of those five? You want me to read them off again? To Mr. Spaulding. Uh, Mr. Harlow's just withdrew. So between the four people, uh, Mike Sebeck, Karen Ann Harlow's, uh, Michelle Pogue, and Scott Helker. Scott Helker. If you, everyone would just pick one of those four people and send that over to Mike Spaulding. <coughs> you didn't win, sorry, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> you complained about something, you have to go to don't like you. Sorry. <laughs> Look, you complain. You complain. And that's what I tell anybody who complains. You complain, do something about it. Okay, okay, I can do initials too. Well done. <laughs> Hannah. 
Hanging Chad is one of our votes. <laughs> who? Hanging Chad. <laughs> I don't know who Hanging Chad is. of a certain age to understand. <laughs> yes. That's a, a reference to Al Gore um, not winning the election many years ago. Okay, I don't think that we can vote for Al Gore not winning the election. <laughs> <laughs> or we got a vote out of that as well. Okay, we're yeah. still waiting on a couple more. Because it would violate the stand, the the not in the nap. So no hanging chat. Sorry, it's a nap violation. Actually, the issue is is that a hanging chat invalidates your vote. Oh, <laughs> I think that was one of the conclusions they had. I don't remember. Okay, we have seven votes in so far. Or um, other than me. Oh, two more just came in. Hold on. Do we have a clear winner? Uh, we did until these two other votes came in and ruined it. <laughs> Who are we missing? Let's see. Uh, Wow, it's pretty close. Okay, we have, uh, I can read off who we have. Communications, membership, campaigns, secretary, um, treasurer, outreach, fundraising, and affiliates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight. Uh, Mike, you should also have vice chair. Oh yeah, I do, sorry, nine. And then we also have, oh no, yeah, that's it. So we have nine, is that everybody? With nine, you should not have a tie. So they say, yeah, you're right. It's odd numbers, you're right. Okay, so I think that's enough where we can read off the results. Yeah, we had the four, the four top ones that are already in and then the, the fifth. Is Michelle Polk. By one vote. By one vote. Okay, would you read everyone who is appointed by the board? Okay, in order of votes, Eric Mulder, Joe Johnson, Alan Heyman, Bet Rose Ryan, Michelle Pogue. Thank you. Now uh, we need to select from those five, uh, either an interim chairman so that they can get started and then they're, the the committee can elect their own chair, or we need to elect a chairman. There has been, uh, from those people in the group, I don't know if anybody has expressed an interest in chairing the committee. I nominate Betty Rose. Second. Uh, for interim or for chair? For interim. for interim, and then let the committee decide. So the idea is to nominate Miss Betty Rose Ryan for interim chair, and then let the committee decide. I don't know if there's any other nominations. Uh, people may nominate themselves as well if they're there. Well, that would happen when they when they elect their own chair. Is there any opposed? Let's make sure that Ms. Ryan is willing to accept before. I was going to nominate Eric, but I'll take it for as interim. As interim, you will? Okay. Yeah, um, Eric did have the highest vote total, but. Uh, Madam Chairman. Yes, Mr. Mulder. Uh, Vice Chair speaking, I decline. Mm -hmm. All that. Okay. <laughs> that was brilliant. He declined being chair of the committee. He does not want it. Um, Ms. Ryan, uh, would you accept the nomination if, if given to you? Yes. Yes. Ms. Ryan would be willing to be interim chair until the committee meets and they decide who is the chair. Um, would uh, the board, we, we could just do it. If there's no other nominations, is there anyone opposed? Is 
Speak now, unmute yourselves and speak now if you're opposed, raise your hand. It does not appear that anyone is trying to speak. There is no opposed. Ms. Ryan will be the interim chair for the Constitution Bylaws Committee um, until their meeting when they decide who will be the permanent chair. Any other items on the agenda? I don't see any. Thank you, uh, Ms. Ryan, for stepping in and willing to do this. Um, seems like there's nothing else going on. Uh, Miss, if there, with no opposition from the board, Mr. Seebeck would like to say something. Oh, go ahead. Um, let me go find the affiliate appointments. There was Mr. Kyle Fury from Denver, Mr. John Jershman from El Paso County, Ms. Beatrice Sutton from um, Douglas County. Let me see if I can find Jefferson. I'm not finding Jefferson County. Um, Arapahoe County nominated La, uh, Josh Laleman, I believe. Not seeing that one either. Madam Eric? Chairman. Yes. Uh, that is correct. Arapahoe County appointed Joshua Laleman to the Constitution and Bylaws Committee. Okay, and I'm not finding who was appointed by uh, Jefferson. I, I believe it was Ross, but I am not 100% sure. I'm not seeing. If I can find. I know it was sent to the whole board. I'm not finding Jefferson County's appointment. Mike Spalding, do you know who was appointed by Jefferson County? Oh no, here it is. Nope, there's Margo's application. Doesn't that mean she was appointed? No, that's just her application. Uh, I'm like looking through the emails to see, and I found one from Jefferson County, but that was just Marco's application. I don't see the one from Jefferson County. So we're missing Jefferson County's um, appointment. I can call Ross and fill that in later. Uh, Boulder appointed Bo. I think so. Mike uh, Spalding, did did we get one from Boulder? Uh, I didn't see it, but I might have missed it. I thought I saw one from from Boulder, like.
we we should get with um, with Boulder and with Jefferson County and see who they have appointed. So so far we could you read the list of everyone who is on the Constitution by Law Committee. Okay. Um, as far as the appointed members, we have Karen Ann Harlos, uh, Joshua Lalliman, Kat Martin, uh, Mr. Wallen. I don't know who that is or how to spell that. They, those are platform. Oh, yeah, I see right. Sorry, platform. W-A-L-E-N, Joshua is Wallen. Okay, thank you. Um, so wait, you, you wanted, uh, the uh by law. Law. We just, okay, we got, um, Eric Mulder, Alan Heyman, Joe Johnson, uh, Bet Rose, Ryan, and Michelle Pope. And, uh, do we know who was all appointed by the affiliates? It was Beatrice Sutton, Josh Lalament. Oh yeah. I don't have that. I was mixing those up. Sorry. Okay. We don't have that. We should send out an email and and put it up on the website as soon as we have that. Pardon? There might be, yeah. If there's any vacancies, we could then fill them. Well, um, I think that's all we have for tonight, uh, Mr. Gershman. Yeah. Uh, point of information. I'm not. I don't understand why we have a platform. And this national has a platform. I don't quite understand the point of our going to all the effort to have our own platform. Ms. Tappendale. Because state issues are not always federal issues or national issues. Okay, but we're talking about issues that change from from campaign to campaign, year to year, a platform should be sort of a standard. This, these are our standards, right? All the time. So I don't, I don't, I don't get the point of having a platform. Um, one thing our, our, our be documents good. require us to have one. Our constitution requires us to have a state platform. But the more fundamental reason is we are not a mere satellite of national. The superiority in the hierarchy of the status. And generally, and it's my opinion and opinion of most states that end up dealing with this issue, is each state, because they are autonomous, has the right to make its own statement. A lot of people aren't happy with what the national platform says on some things. For instance, I'm just going to give a hot button topic, not that that's an issue here, is they don't like the abortion decision of the national party and they want their own in their states. But I would always tell every affiliate, don't ever cede a millimeter of your autonomy to national. And that's the reason why generally the, the state affiliates have a platform and why I will always advocate for us to have a platform. Didn't it happen in one of the states where they deleted the platform yeah. and then were going to adopt the national and With did not? Education and then did not well, adopt it? Well, they violated their bylaws in the vote, so it got, that vote got reverted. And then the subsequent convention, this is California, um, nobody wanted to deal with it. So they, they, California still has its same platform. They weren't going to adopt nationals unrevised. They were going to adopt nationals and edit it. So we still would have been specific to California's court. Okay, thank you. Thank Mr. Seebeck, go ahead. Some states have that in a different 
form, but we have a specific year of the state's don't. It, it's all, the mileage varies. The mileage varies with those different limits and different things that are going to work. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for the clarification. Is there any other business that we need to address? Is there any other comments, questions? Um, Bruce, you have your hand up. I was just trying to tag onto the platform be because there was not a whole lot of concrete information, a whole lot of concrete examples, but my county um, is, is one that would have one and that's mining law is not a huge issue nationally, but it certainly is in Colorado, specifically oil and gas. Um, we have three of the, the largest um, gas fields in the United States in Colorado. And so a national platform would, would probably not address that, but a Colorado platform might. Gotcha, that makes sense. All right, if there's nothing further, let's go ahead. Uh, you had your hand up, go ahead. Um, yes, we will, we will the uh, uh, state board appoint the replacements for the state. Probably next one, if there, if there are people who are willing to serve. Um, thank you very much to everyone. I think we have no further business. Um, is there a motion to adjourn? Madam Chairman. Yes, Mr. Mulder. Uh, Vice Chair, I move to adjourn. There are a second. Second. Any opposed? Without opposition, we are adjourned. <laughs>